your foam roller session. I'm very excited for our intermediate to power level class. Please choose the option that feels good for you. I don't want pain, I don't want strain. Only the good kind of warm up and the good kind of work out. Let's do this. Feet, knees, hips, find their center. Find beautiful core posture. And let's go shoulder rolls for five and four and three. Breathe, two. Exhale, one other way, five, and four, and three, breathe two, we're gonna go into your spinal roll, lower down to the ground for deep core breath, and slowly bring this body up, right, let's go again, deep breath, exhale, tuck to roll down, good, and slowly bring it up, one more, Lower down, keep that core strong, warming up legs. Let's go for it for five. And then stretch four. And breathe for three. Exhale for two. Last time for one. Soften knees. Roll the body up. Take it into that side. Reach up and over and just hold for a moment. At a pulse, four and three. And two, and one, draw it back, up and over, yes, let's go, one, and two, and three, and four, come back, I want you to turn to your roller, one hand on top of the other, feet and knees out distance, bend those legs, and find that tabletop position, always check here that your head doesn't drop below those arms, the shoulders glide away from ears, and let's get into your spine as we curl into your body. Inhale, let's pull back and stretch. Again, breathe out every time you curl, tighten your core and draw it back. Three, breathe out, tuck and curl. Inhale to stretch, one more. Breathe out, tuck and curl. And flatten that back, go into a deeper bend of the knees. Nice big stretch out. Inhale, deep end of your knees. Exhale, stretch. And let's go three. Breathe out, stretch. Inhale, bend four. And stretch two more. Breathe five. And stretch one more. Breathe six. And hold it here for three. Feel shoulders, back, calves, hamstrings. Two, check your head placement. One, soften knees. Roll that body up. And I want you to hold that roller next to you, place that foot behind, soften your standing leg. Let's warm up those hip flexors, thighs, and those stabilizing muscles in that standing leg as we come back. Again, pulling that knee back, keeping those hips in line. Inhale, come back for three. Exhale, forward tilt. Grounding that leg into that mat. And two more forward tilt, keeping that core engaged every time. One more forward tilt and give it a good hold. Get those thighs, those hip flexors awake for four more. And three, good. Breathe two, exhale one, swap other side. Foot behind you, standing knees soft, connect shoulders. And let's go for that forward tilt, pull that leg back. Inhale, bring it to centre. Two, breathe out, forward tilt. Inhale, we come back. Breathe out for three. Inhale, come back, good. Exhale, check in with your chin, neck, shoulder sit. Now in this one, stay in that stretch. Get that thigh, that hip flexor open up for four more. And three, breathe two. Exhale, one, yes, let's get into these glutes and stabilizers. Roll it in the center, ankle onto you, draw your shoulders back, and we want to pull that pelvis back and get down. Inhale, we lift up. So we never hold a stretch with muscles when they're cold, so we always want to work mobility before we stretch and hold. Let's go for three. Making sure as you tilt forward, that core tightens up. Let's go lower for four. Keep an eye on where that chin, that neck placement is. And this is it. Hold it here. Get that bum, that hip stretch. Make sure there's not too much pressure on that standing knee. 
You're pulling that pelvis back and down, which means core has to stay triggered. Yes, and other side, good. Ankle on to you. Draw that pelvis back and get down. Waking up our stabilizing muscles of foot, ankle. And breathe out to get down. Inhale, let's come back. Good. Breathe out for three. Inhale, let's come back. Two more. Breathe out, back and down. Four. Inhale, come back. One to go. Exhale for five. And this is it. Stay there for five. Hold four. Hold three. Stretch up. Um, two. And breathe. One. Very nice. Grab that roller in your palms. Make sure you hold it with palms and not the fingertips. Standing in the center of your mat. And from here, knees are going to stay slightly bent for that set. And we're going to draw that roller and that knee up in front of you without letting that body tilt back. And from there, we're going to move into a nice forward tilt. Keeping that roller and chest in line. Again, let's draw that roller and that knee up to the front too. Keep pressing gently, focusing on alignment as we move into that forward tilt. And three, breathe out. The deeper you can bring that knee into chest, the more psoas in a core is going to be working, which I love. And four, breathe as we glide up. Check your chin as intact, those shoulders haven't shrugged up. And breathe out, let's tilt, watch that hip, watch that lower back. And six, let's lift this up. Breathe out, let's lower down into your tilt. Seven, lifting those arms, that leg up. And breathe out into that forward tilt. Eight, breathe as we lift. And let's lower down for last time. We're going to stay in that lift and hold it here. Find your balance. Let's go. Stretch that leg. Bend those elbows. And one. Let's go. Two. Get the shoulder blades to connect. And three. Squeeze in thigh. And four. Hello. Standing leg. Breathe five. And back. And six. And back, two more, breathe seven. And one to go, breathe eight. If you want to stop there, stop there. If you can, go a little more. Go into that forward tilt, find your balance. And let's go, one, upper back. Two, Woo! hello, standing leg. Breathe out, four. Exhale, five, three to go, breathe six. Exhale, seven. One more, eight, and swap. Boom! Standing legs should be cooking, but in a good kind of way. I know mine is. All right, folks, let's swap. Beautiful upper body alignment. Remember, standing knees slightly bent. Scoop that roller, that knee up. Don't let that body tilt. Keep in that placement and show me that magnificent forward tilt. Squeeze your thigh bum hamstring and let's go lifting up for two. Watch your chin, your shoulders and breathe out. Let's go forward and inhale, gliding up for three. Breathe out into that forward tilt. Keep that upper back connection for me. Four, breathe out, knee to chest. And exhale as we forward tilt, getting this body wide awake. Breathe out for five. And breathe as we lower down. Six. Let's lift this up. And slowly lower. Seven. Let's lift. And slowly come down for one more. Breathe as we lift eight. Exhale, if this is where you want to stop, go for it. If you can join me on this next set, go there. And let's go. Bend those elbows, stretch that leg. Hello, multitasking. Two. And squeeze those upper backs and thighs. And back. Breathe. Four. And back. Exhale. Five. 
and back, and six, and two more, breathe, seven, and one more, breathe for eight, and if you can, power it up, find your balance in that tilt, and let's go, squeeze, shoulder blades, two, exhale, three, breathe out, four, and five, breathe for six, two more, and seven, one more, eight, and relax, amazing, now I know those legs, those arms are wide awake, I want you to please open your feet up, toes are going to stay facing forward, and I don't want anyone feeling knee pain as we move into that forward squat, I want you to pull those hips back, knee caps in line with those middle toes, draw those rollers up in line with your ears, tucking your ribs, your core is tight, please guys I'm not there, pull that pelvis back, squeeze your thighs, your bum, your core to return, again exhale, let's lower down, so there should be that incredible straight line from your foam roller to your tailbone, let's go down for three, squeezing as we come back, exhale, lower down for four, and power the move coming back, breathe out for five, keep checking what your knees are doing, and let's lower down for six, if anyone feels pain in those knees or back, keep it a smaller range, check that form is correct, let's go down eight, and squeeze two more, breathe out for nine, now as we move on to that second set, I'm going to turn to face you, now those knees and hips are not allowed to move, we stay in that squat as we rotate, I don't want to see this move happening, anchor that hip and knee, inhale center, other way rotate, my head stays in the middle, breathe out for two, and of course if it gets too much at any point, you stop, rotate, working obliques and core, not letting go of thighs and bums, saying hello, I'm working, let's go, can we do three more, inhale, exhale, two to go, breathe out, rotate, and center, swap, and one more, breathing out, now this is it for you, you want to stop, go for it if you can, add a little more power, go deep, and add a little pulse, 10, and 9, check those shoulders, 8, check your back, 7, breathe out, 6, and 5, exhale, 4, breathe out, 3, exhale, 4, 2, and 1, draw it back to centre, amazing, feet and knees come hip distance, connect your shoulders, and from here we bend those elbows up, I want your triceps working, so guys, please watch, I'm not here. Lift up out of those shoulders. Inhale, lower. And check that you're squeezing into your palms, not the fingertips. And lower. Breathe out three. Check that neck. It's on holiday. Don't let it get involved. And breathe four. Inhale, this is that posture strength section. Five. Inhale, down. Breathe out every time you bend those abs, connect for more, let's squeeze, and down, exhale, three, inhale, lower, exhale, two, and down, last time, breathe, one, no rest, we go straight into that arm lift, and come down, exhale, squeeze and lift, inhale, down, breathe out for three, Inhale, lower, no momentum, squeeze four, and come down, breathe out, five, inhale, lower, exhale, six, and come down, breathe out, seven, inhale, lower, exhale, eight, and come back down, breathe for nine, let's get back into those upper back muscles, no rest of the shoulders, squeeze that roller into your chest, connect your ribs for me, Inhale, stretch, breathe out, squeeze. You want to feel the shoulder blades glide towards each other. I don't want you feeling neck or the top traps triggering at all. Let's go for six more. Hello, posture strength. Breathe out, five. 
Inhale, stretch. Exhale, four. Check that spine is in neutral. Breathe out, three. Inhale, exhale, two. And last time, hold this on one. Keep the shoulder blades connected. Squeeze back, ten. Little moves. Nine and eight and seven. Upper back, six and five. Breathe, four and three and two. No rest. Stretch those arms. Lift that roll above your head. Don't let those shoulders pop up. That's where I need that strength, that technique to kick in. Two, even if your range is smaller, that's okay. If you need to go there and the shoulders are tense, that's your range. Let's go for four, whatever your highest point is. I want you to be checking that chin doesn't tuck. And down, five more. Let's lift. You should be feeling some arm action by now. And six. Inhale, lower, breathe, seven, inhale, down, exhale, eight, and come down, beautiful, breathe, nine, and one more, hold those arms up on ten, check the shoulders, check your neck, and bend it to the top of your head, upper backs, and stretch, and two, inhale, stretch, breathe, three, inhale, exhale, four, if anyone's feeling neck pain, Drop your line, five, listen to your range, and six, and stretch, breathe, seven, and up, breathe for eight, and up, two more, breathe, nine, and last time, finish this off, little pulse, we're going ten, and nine, and eight, and seven, breathe, six, and five, exhale, four, breathe out, three, and two, last time, for one, and relax. Amazing. And the best thing about a recorded class, guys, if you want to rewind, repeat, do that. It depends if you want that real killer core arm strength today. Now, give in those arms a little bit of breathing time and let's get into a power lunge move. Now, if anyone's knees or backs feel strained at any point, it's simple. Just place your foot on the mat instead of using that roller. If you're using roller with me, we're going to place toes on top, which adds instability. It's like, whoa, where are my legs going to go? But you have to work the core to keep it stable. Toes, kneecap, hips stay strictly forward. Hands onto your shoulder, shoulder blades connect. And from here, we offer a nice low lunge. I want you to check here that your knees are not gaping over the toes. So in fact, for me, I want my foot a little bit further forward. Let's go down for two. And we come back. Exhale, lower down for three. Staying in a range that feels good and comfortable for you. Breathe for four. Chest stays upright, tighten in that core. Breathe five. And back. Exhale, lower six. And back. Breathe out for seven. And back. Exhale, lower eight. And back, two more, breathe, nine. Now, if you can, stay on number 10, anchor the base of your body, and we offer an oblique twist. And back, let's go, two, and back, breathe, three, inhale, exhale, four, let's come back, breathe, five, and back, and six, inhale, exhale, seven, and back, breathe for eight, and back, exhale, nine. And if you want to stop on 10, go for it. If you want to power, pulse, legs and obliques, 10 combo, nine, and eight, twisting and pulsing. We on seven more, and six more, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Boom, boom, boom. Thighs, bum, hamstrings, obliques, Working, let's swap. Other side, foot on that roller, other toes on that, on the floor. Let's go, breathe out for one. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go down two, check your knees, check your upper body. And for three, not letting that roller move, breathe four. And back, exhale five. And back, breathe out, six, inhale, exhale, seven, come back, breathe, eight, and back, 
and nine. 10 is where we stay, anchoring obliques. And back, check your knees, stay bent. Inhale, breathe, three. And back, exhale, four. And back, breathe out, five. And back, exhale, six. Center, seven. Breathe out, eight. Exhale, nine. If this is where you stop, stop. If you combo, legs, obliques, three and four. One, five and six. And seven, breathe eight and nine and ten. That is it. It is mat time. Let's get you straight on your hands onto your foam roller. Bum stays in the air and give me that beautiful release. Neck, shoulders, spine, give a stretch. And let's go into your curl of the body. Inhale, let's draw it into a release out. Again, breathe out, curl into your body. And let's stretch. Three, breathe out to curl. Inhale as we stretch it out. One more, breathe out to curl. Now hold that thoracic stretch and hold for three. Hold for two. Holding for one. Brilliant. Join me back. Glide that roller underneath your shin bones. Hands underneath your shoulders. Toes are digging into the ground. Find that placement. Tilt that pubic bone. Lengthen your neck. Lengthen your spine out. And from here, I want your arm to the side. Other leg to the back. Body weight in the center. So check that you are not tilting in the hips. Weight in the middle, watch your neck and shoulders for me. Let's go for a toe tap, fingertips down. Breathe out as we lift up, watching hips and back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, to lift. Inhale, lower, three. And if at any point you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can lift your toes that are digging into the ground off that mat. Yes, let's lower five. Breathe out, to lift. Inhale, lower six. Exhale, to lift. Inhale, lower seven. Breathe out, to lift. Inhale, lower eight. Exhale, come up to more. Exhale, lift one more and ten. Hold it here. Point that foot in the air. From here, we're going to tap it across and tap out. Nothing else to move. And out. And three, and out. I don't have a body changing position. Let's go five, and up. Breathe six, and up. Check your shoulders and neck. And eight, let's tap. And up, two more, breathe nine. And last time, breathe ten. Into center, draw that arm next to you. Connect your shoulder blades. And if you can, lift those toes. Hold ten, hold nine. Hold eight, hold seven, hold six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax, boom. It's almost like I'm clipping your wing when I'm making you put that arm next to you. But it's out of love, guys, it's out of core challenge. I'm just scooping around, you stay where you are, and let's see this other side. Find that beautiful placement, opposite arm and leg up, Let's go down. Watching that knees under hip, hand under shoulder. Two, not letting that standing elbow lock. Three, every time we lift in that shoulder blade connects. And four, exhale, lift. Inhale, five. No change in that lower back placement. Six, and up. Breathe, seven. And lift. Inhale, eight. And up, two more, breathe, nine. And one to go, exhale, ten. Point your toes and toe tap across. And up, nothing else to move. And up, keep checking your form. Check your placement, we on four. And back, breathe, five. And up, exhale, six. And up, four more, seven. And up, breathe, four, eight. And up, two more, nine. 
and one more breathe for 10 finishing center hook that arm into you and can you lift your toes 10 9 find your balance 8 7 6 and 5 breathe 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 relax delicious stuff toes together knees apart glide that roller forward and enjoy that stretch up for three. Hold two. I want to add in the lat work as you place one hand behind you. Glide this other hand across and hold three. Hold two. Hold one. Excellent. Other side. Glide across three. And two. And one. Amazing. And join me in the middle of your mat. Now, if your knees need support at any point, you can add a little bit more cushioning. I want your one foot out to the side. Hips are strictly facing forward. Roll it back and those palms, shoulders down. And let's go into your rotation work. Inhale to center. Breathe out, working that mobility of your spine. Show me core stability as well. Let's go two. Inhale back and let's glide. And two more, breathe out and center and side. And one more, following that roller with those eyes. Now that letting chin tuck, shoulders lift, head stays in the center to side tilt and back and side. Hello, obliques and lats. And cue outside. And two more each way. Bent and center. Exhale, side. And one, two, go side. And center, deep breath out. Now we take that roller, place it at a distance. Hand on top, shoulder stays down. Obliques are gonna kick in. If it gets too much at any point, you can lower onto your forearm and onto your hip if you need. So that's a gentler option. But if you are up for that challenge, please check shoulders out of that party, neck is in line, and let's go into that abduction work. Now foot is either slightly in front or in line, never behind for two. I don't want that spine moving out of neutral. Let's go three. Inhale back. Exhale, four, and come down. Breathe, five, keep pressing that roller away, and six, feel that activation in center, and seven, and down. Breathe, eight, and down. Exhale, nine, and one more. Point your toes on 10. Keep that upper body strong, circling 10, and nine. And eight, check toes and knees stay forward. We on seven and six. Watch your spine and five. Keep this tightness and four and three. Good. Breathe two and change other way for ten. Breathe nine. Hello, bum, ITB. Move on to seven. Breathe out six. Exhale, five. Breathe out four. Exhale, three. Breathe out, two if you need to stop there, stop if you can, power lift, check your line, toes, knees forward, finish, ten, nine, eight, should be feeling it, seven, and six, breathe, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, whoa, 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 and even these stabilizing muscles are working, so it's not just about the lifting leg, it's also that standing leg that's working extra hard. Other foot out to the side, anchor those hips, and let's check that alignment, that mobility on the side, that ability to keep your hips nice and still. And let's go for two. Remember, those hips are staying completely anchored, rotating. And breathe out three. Exhale, rotate. And last time for four. Exhale, rotate. Anchor that arm above. And let's go side bend. Head is coming with. And side. Breathe out two. 
Exhale, side bend. And let's go three. Breathe out, side bend. Last time. And let's go four. Exhale, side bend. Place that roller in line away from you. Shoulders stay down, neck long. Foot in front or in line. And let's go for 10. And remember, if at any point you need to lower down onto that forearm and you go for it. And three, every time your leg is lifting, that core should be tightening. Four, breathe out for five. Remember that shoulder stays out of the body. And six, keep that underneath side strong. Seven, exhale, eight, breathe out, nine. Hold it up on 10 point. 10 slow loops, 9, circle 8 and 7, breathe out 6, exhale 5, breathe out 4, exhale 3, deep breath 2 and reverse, let's go 10 and 9, breathe 8 and 7, exhale 6, breathe out 5 and 4, watch your back, 3, and two, are we ready? If you want to stop, yeah, stop. If you power, pause. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax. Incredible, guys. I want you to please turn onto your side again. I want you to take a step forward, hands down, and open up that hip flexor before I get you deep into thigh into nice deep core and ab work. Let's go, toes again. Peel your back knee off and maximize that hip flexor stretch for five and four, three, breathe, two, and one, excellent, other side. Step it forward, get down. Knees are behind those toes, get that stretch, yes. Toes are going to dig in, peel that back knee off and stretch for five and four and three. Breathe two and one. Excellent stuff. Now from here, place that roll underneath your quads. Tilt that pubic bone to belly and let's give some fascia release. Remember, fascia is that layer between muscle and skin. And if we can loosen up our thighs and our hip flexors, the deeper we can activate into those hips, into those core muscles. Yes, give me another three. Now, depends how tight those legs are feeling. This might feel like torture or it could feel like paradise for you. But either way, it is necessary. All right, ladies and gents, it is ab time. I want you to place that roller underneath your heels. Now, from here, we're going to stay in that lift and we're going to lower into a roll up. As we lower, you're going to stretch those legs lower down and find beautiful neutral. Don't let those arms collapse. Take a deep, strong breath in as we imprint, connect as you roll it up. I want you gliding that roller in. And this is what I'm looking for at intermediate and power level is that ability to stack those vertebrae. And let's slowly lower, zipping your belly to your spine, controlling this move, imprint control, not needing momentum, just pure beautiful core strength. And let's zip down, taking your time lower and lengthen behind you. And imprint connect and slowly lifting up. Four more, let's take our time. The slower, the more core at work. And breathe out as we gently lift for three. Breathe out as we lower. We're not in a rush, are we? Inhale at the bottom. And imprinting to slowly lift two more. Breathe out as we lower down to hold. And imprint, connect as we lift back for one. Let's lower down. 
Good, are we ready to have a little bit of fun on this next one? Lifting up now. If anyone's lower back needs support at any time, use your hands and even remove the roller if need be. We lift that one leg up. Hold it there as we heel tap. 10, and up, and nine, and up. Breathe, eight, everything else stay strong, and seven, and up. Breathe, six, and up, deep breath, five. And lift, and four, and up, breathe, three. Now you know while we release those quads and hip flexors, and one, swap by the side, check your shoulders, check your neck, check your chin, 10, and tap, and nine, and tap, breathe, eight, exhale, seven, breathe out, six, exhale, four, five, breathe out, four, exhale, four, three, Breathe out, two, we're gonna finish on one. Stretch those legs. Keep your core engaged. And give me this magnificent stretch. Move those shoulders away from your ears. Feel those calves, feel those hamstrings. And enjoy for another three. Another two. Another one. Very nice. And from here, bring your feet together, open hips, lift up, and use this roller to maximize not only your hips, but also your shoulder blades and back, getting a stretch out for another three. Another two, good. Another one. Now from this position, place your back leg straight on on the roller. If it gets too much work on the mat, I want you to curl down, Lifting that front leg up, keeping that spine in a curled position, chin stays centered. And from here, we're going over that leg for 10, obliques kicking in. And nine, watch those hips don't move. And eight, and swap, breathe, seven, exhale, swap, breathe, six, and swap, deep breath, five. And swap, exhale, four, and swap, breathe, for three. And stop, exhale, two. If you need a rest in between, take it, please. Otherwise, drop and straight to the other side for 10. And stop, and nine. And stop, breathe, eight. Exhale, and seven. Swap, breathe, six. And stop, and five. And stop, breathe, four. And stop, and three. And stop, exhale, two. And last time, one. And bring it in centre. Lower this body down as you pull your knees and feet to your shoulders. Stretch out those hip flexors, those SI joints. If you can join me in happy baby, let's go there. And give me another three deep breaths holding. And two, get those hips stretched out. And one, as you lower your feet wide, just off that mat. Open these arms out and let's lower these knees. One side, you look opposite way. Inhaling back. Other way to lower down. Inhale to centre. Let's lower down for two. Inhale, come back. Breathe out, rotate. Inhale, come back. Let's lower and hold three. Hold two. And one, as you draw it back. Other way, hold three. Hold two. Hold one, very nice. And come back to centre. Angles and knees glued together as you release into those lumbar spines. Give me a rock side to side. And let's get ready to get comfortable on that foam roller long ways. So, I want that bum and that head on that roller comfortably. And already knowing how much I love this kind of roller work, because automatically it opens up these tight zones here in our neck, shoulders, and chest, where we saw all of our phone tension, our computer tension. So just give it a moment to let these work with gravity and pull down to the ground. Now, feet and knees are at distance apart, the toes facing forward. Lower back in neutral. And if you don't need the neck support, our arms are back in line with your ears. If at any point you need that neck support, hands behind your head. So totally up to you. 
and from here we're going to imprint, tilt and lift into an abdominal curl, watching your chin, neck, shoulder line, which I'm hoping that intermediate and power level is natural for you to do. And um, imprint, you know that we always engage into those TA center as well as top abs. It's not just about those top abdominals. And three, and if you are up for a bit more challenge, bring your feet and knees together. Totally up to you. Breathe out as we curl. So if you're working with your ankles and knees glued, you're going to be squeezing those inner thighs. Breathe out to curl. Up to you which option you want to do. I want five more. Exhale, let's curl. Slowly lower on four. Breathe out, let's curl. Inhale, come back for three. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, lower on two. Breathe out to lift. Now on one, I want everyone to light hands behind your head. Let's go little curl for ten. And breathe nine, no rest. And eight, breathe out seven. Deep breath six, exhale five. Breathe out four, exhale three. Deep breath two, exhale four, one. Give that neck those backs a breather. And if you can, option A, we move into a full roll up. If that's a bit too much for you to do at the moment, you go as high as your body allows, even if it's back into that curl. Let's go. I just want five reps. Imprint, watching your chin, neck, shoulder placement every single time. And slowly lower four. Exhale into your maximum. And taking your time for three. Breathe out as we lift up. And let's slowly lower for two. Breathe out as we lift. Good. And slowly down for one. Exhale to lift. Now, if you can, stop a little bit higher than that curl position. Palms face down and we tap for ten. Nine. And eight strong breath. And seven. Breathe out six. Exhale for five. Exhale, four, breathe, four, three, and two, one, slowly drawing this body down and relax. Amazing. It's a doctor in a thigh time. So if at any point your neck or back feels strained, get off that roller and work on the mat. I want you to flatten your lumbar spine in imprint. Legs are 90. If your hamstrings and backs feel super tight, your knees will be very bent. If your hamstrings allow you to extend, go there. And make sure your legs are at 90 and not dropping below. Check your shoulders and neck before we get going. And we're going to inhale as you open those legs out. Now exhale, resist in those inner thighs, those lower abs to center. Inhale, open out. And let's squeeze it in. Excellent. Let's open for three. And we squeeze the back. Inhale, open four. And resist the back. Let's open five. And let's come back. Inhale for six. And that roller is not allowed to move at any point. Open up for seven. And squeeze in. Let's go for eight. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale for nine. Resist it in one more and breathe ten. Now if that's your maximum, you need a break. Take it if you can join me for set two. We cross one leg in front, one behind at your thigh. Swap it out and open wide. Let's go two and back and open. Let's go three. Remember, imprint spine core is strong and four. Swap and open. Let's go five. Swap and open out. Breathe six. Swap and open out. Breathe seven. Swap and open. Inhale eight. 
Swap and open. Two more. Nine. Swap and last time. Breathe for ten. If you want to rest, go for it. If you can join me, we go halfway in and out. And two. Finishing up. And three. Check your back and shoulders. Four. And eight. And five. Breathe out. Six. Exhale. Seven. Hello. In the thighs. Eight. Breathe for nine. One more. Ten. And bring it to centre and relax. Amazing. Feet at distance apart. Find a beautiful placement. Hands into the air. And let's imprint, squeeze as we float those hips up. Taking arms and ears in line. Take a moment to check your knee and hip alignment. And curl through the middle spine, lower spine and back to centre. And I'm aware working on that roller, your range is a little bit limited, but height is not the priority. I want us to use this roller to really get that mobility through the back. Again, breathe out, squeeze, you connect it into your hamstrings, your bum, your tears, your thighs. And you are fully aware of that shoulder and that mobility. Four more. Squeeze as we lift up, not letting that neck tense. And let's curl for three. Imprinting to squeeze it up. And let's curl down on two. Imprint to squeeze it up. And let's melt it down for one. If you can keep it there, let's stay there and we glide one arm down, one up. And swap, keep that bum powered up, two. And swap, and at the same time, we're getting that blood flow between shoulder blades. And four, releasing any tension in our upper body, five. And swap, breathe, six. And swap, four more, and seven. Exhale, swap, deep breath, eight. Exhale, swap, two more, nine. And last time, breathe for ten. And anchor your arms next to you. Finish with those glutes. Little moves. Ten past nine. And eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Curl that body down. I want that one leg up at dead bug position. I want you to imprint and squeeze. Not letting those hips tilt. Shoulders tense. And lower down. If you can, move into our power option. Opposite hand is lifting as you lift and lower. Feel that hamstring and glute, that core having to work. And that roller keeping your shoulder blades in line. We on four. Inhale, come down. Breathe out for five. And lower down. Exhale for six. And come back down. Check your form. Breathe seven. Inhale, lower. Exhale, eight. Inhale, come down. Two more. And nine. Inhale, come down. One more. And ten. Hold. Little pulse. Ten. And nine. And eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And lower that bum down. If your hand was down, lift it up. And your core challenge, bring both hands up and just hold your balance for 10 counts. Find your core, nine, eight. If you need help with balance, the foot on the ground can open wider. We have five and four and three. Breathe two and one. Other side, lift that leg to dead bug. Your option A to keep your hands on the ground if you can advance. Opposite hand up and lower. And squeezing up without letting that neck and shoulder line tense. Breathe up. Feel that glute, that hamstring. We on four and slowly down. Exhale, five. Inhale, come down. Breathe out, six. Inhale, lower. Exhale, seven, and come down. Breathe out, eight. Two more, exhale, nine. And stay in there, pass it up, ten little ones, nine. And eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, 
and two, and one, lower down. And if you can, draw in both hands up. 10 counts, find balance. Nine, eight, seven, and six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Bend those elbows into a W shape for me. Let's release into those shoulders and chest muscles. Necks are relaxed. And just hold for three. Hold two. We're going to lengthen your legs along the floor on one. Interlace your fingertips. Imagine I'm pulling your hands above you to the wall behind us. And lengthen your toes to that wall in front of you. Stretch out this body. Three. And two. Good. And one. Amazing. And I want you to please make your way onto your bellies for me. I want you to place those feet of distance apart. I want your hands a little bit wider than shoulders. Ladies, we tilt up cubic bone into the ground. I want everyone's belly off the ground. And feet and bum relaxed. We're going to breathe out as you glide your shoulder blades down your back. And when you feel they can't go further, we're going to lift into an extension without letting that chin pop up, that bum, those legs squeeze, and lower down. Guys, please note that it's not a cobra stretch, so make sure you engage correctly. Let's go. Glide your shoulder blades down your back when they can't go any further. We use that back strength, that core strength to lift. And let's lower down. Again, let's glide and lift, getting those posture muscles so strong. And let's lower down, good. Breathe out as we glide and lift. If you're looking forward, it's wrong. You want to be looking down to your mat. And three more. Breathe out as we glide and lift. And let's lower two. Breathe out as we glide and lift. And lower down for one more. Breathe out, glide and lift and hold for three. Hold two. Hold in one. Place your one hand behind your back. Slide that hand across the roller. Keep your elbows straight, resting head. And get that beautiful stretch through the underarm down the side of the body. Feels wonderful. And swap other side. And get that stretch out for four. For three. For two. Good. And one. And let's get excited for a fun core challenge. All right. If it's too much to work on the roller, Work without. But if you want to join me, we are going to be on our forearms, making sure you get that roller in the right spot. Have a quick squirt. We're going to do a knee extension and into a forearm pipe on those elbows. All right. Pumped, ready, aiming to do eight reps of each slow and controlled. Watch your neck, shoulder, and lower spine. Let's go, guys. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, out, and lift, slowly down, that's one, let's go, two, and back, and lift, knees stay straight, breathe, three, and lift those hips up, whoop, and four, let's go in, halfway, and control that move, four more, in, and out, breathe, lift, and three, two, go in and out and lift. And two more in and out and lift. And one more in and out. Can you stay? Hold, hold, hold and relax. Oh my goodness, that is so much fun. If you want to do that again, guys, go for it. And even add in doing it on your hands. But now, let's get you limber, loose, and feeling wonderfully balanced. Place the roller under your sacrum. Hug your back leg in. Make sure that pelvis is centered. And we move into that stretch of the calf and that hamstring. And two, flex that foot. 
Cause it had me really working. From here we bend in the knee, flex and stretch that you get that beautiful hip flexor release. Really good for those of you who do struggle with lower back or you do a lot of cardio and those hips are so tight. Good stuff, slide this in. Ankle on thigh, get into that glute, stretch out. Anchor your sacrum on that roller for four, for three, for two, we're gonna swap, check your pelvis is aligned. And let's go, calf and hamstring stretch. Flexing that foot really deep in the activation. Hug your knee in, flex that other leg, get that hip flexor to stretch out. Slide that ankle in and get your beautiful glute stretch. And then placing your feet together, I want you to open those knees so that you get a deep hip stretch if this is really uncomfortable for your back or hips, remove that roller, open your palms up and just give your body three deep breaths to recover, to align and reset for two. And breathe in one, bring those legs together and I want you to lift up onto that roller all the way down to your one hip and you choose where you want to zone. If you want to keep it small little rolls on that thigh to this point, go with it. If you want to keep it general, like a nice general bum massage, you do that. Oh, I could do this all day, every day, I love it. And then on to the other cheek, because yes, guys, we work those glutes, we work those stabilizers, those ITBs. Oh yeah, so we want them balanced. And then let's get that roller onto your back, and if you want to zone different areas, go for it. If you want to do a nice general roll, what's important to me is that your TA stay tight, that neck is staying supported, and you never feel vulnerable in those little zones. I don't want that back feeling pain or strain. Good. And then I want you to make your way up to hands and knees. Place that roller side, toes dig in. Lift up into a deep down dog stretch, which we use to check length in spine and deep stretch your calves and hamstrings. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Soften those knees for me. And take your time to roll your body up. Nice and slow, bringing some TLC into our neck. Hands on the back of your head, chin to chest, and stretch. Good. Either the flex or hand neck behind you, neck stretch to the side. Amazing. Either way, either flex or hand behind you to stretch. Wonderful. And let's see our spinal work, guys. Tuck, roll, and at the bottom, enjoy our final stretch up here on calves and hamstrings. Take a strong core breath as you soften knees. Connect your core and let's stack that body incredibly for the rest of your day. Feeling recovered, rebalanced. And two breaths finishing up. Exhale, out one more deep, strong breath in, and exhale, and breathe. Well done, guys. I hope you feel strong, feeling amazing, and energized. Thank you so much for joining me, and so much love. Bye, guys.